Hi everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I was just digging through some boxes. As you guys know, I'm emptying that tent and unpacking everything. And I found some old military photos. Um, pretty cool stuff. Some uh, guys that didn't dr drive the tank too well. It's a funny looking photo. The guys were... It's sort of weird looking. I don't know if you can see this photo. The uh, guys are actually standing upright. It was a hilarious photo, so we did that. I don't know if it shows up on the computer or on the camera very well. The guys look like they're leaning sideways next to the tank, right? But they're standing straight up. The tank is on a slope and it's in a ditch. I thought that was really funny. But uh, you can see some of the photos here. This guy, uh, he goofed in a bad way with a tank. Anyway, I found, uh, see it's sticking right up in the air here. I found some photos and I wanted to share them with you because there's a certain person whose name I'm not allowed to say, although he makes videos with my full name and my channel name and shows my address and everything and somehow he gets away with it. But there's this guy, he calls himself Doc, that um, is saying that I never served in the military and that I'm a liar and I'm going to prove to you that I did serve in the military my full term. I'm going to show you my DD-214 because this guy Doc has turned good veterans away from me and actually made them my enemy. And they're well-meaning good veterans. You know, veterans, they served, they bled, and they fought together, and their friends died in service. And when somebody is faking, they take it personal. And I have some good, well-meaning veterans on the warpath against me and hell-bent on destroying me because this guy Doc said I never served and that I'm pretending to be in the military and that I'm faking everything. So today I'm going to show everything. Uh, I finally found all my documents and I'm going to show you guys everything and uh, prove that I did serve in the military. Some of these photos are really cool. Uh, here's a, a guy, let me see where is it in the camera, here. He is, his helmet got run over by a tank. It is, I think this, some of these scenes look like something out of a movie. It's really cool. So, I've got a lot of photos from... There's uh, Fort Irwin, California, National Training Center. All just desert, 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 desert. Um, here's a trip, me and the guys heading down to Mexico with my 66 Plymouth VIP. That's me right there, heading down to Mexico. We used to go down there and party all the time. It's me and the guys down there, down on the border somewhere along Texas, edge of Texas. So, anyway, not many photos in there. Let me pause the camera, I'll be right back. Now, I had said my service was from 94 to 97, and Doc says, well, he admitted, okay, maybe Troy did do some basic training, but he did not serve in the military and he did not do a full term and he certainly did not get uh, discharged with an honorable discharge well here's a army achievement medal from November 1997 so, and I went in 1994 and I showed you some awards from 1994 so that shows that I was in from 94, 95, 96 and 97 I went in in January 94 and here's November 1997 an army achievement medal okay so that proves that I was in there for four years and then we'll go on. But I just want to show you, this guy Doc is really turning good, well-meaning people against me. Alright, here's my DD-214, Certificate of Release or Discharge from Active Duty. Got my name, my rank at time. I, did, I could have been promoted, but honestly I preferred being in the tank driver's seat. Uh, I did not want to be a gunner and a uh, tank commander because it was very, very, very tight quarters. And honestly, the driver was hooked up. Uh, press this in in Lansing, Michigan. Let me uh, pause the camera and scroll down. I'm going to be very careful what I show here because all my personal information is on here. But this will prove that Doc is a liar and has been lying for years trying to turn people against me. And sadly, many people believed him and have been attacking and harassing me to no end. And many of those people are well-meaning veterans. So all those guys who... Um, you know, who, who believed his lies, I'm sorry about that. I 
just didn't feel that I should show my personal documents to the world but I don't want you guys to be uh, following a liar any further any longer okay 19 kilo armor uh, M1 Abrams armor crewman and I have my decorations. I have Army Achievement Medal, Good Conduct Medal, National, De De National Defense Service Medal, Army Service Ribbon, Overseas Service Ribbon, um, M1 Abrams, oops, where am I? I'm sorry. M1 Abrams Tank Crewman Course, 14 weeks, June 1994 is when I went in. It was a 14 weeks, so that proves, yes, my training was more than just a few weeks. There it is right there, Doc. 14 weeks. It is not just a couple weeks of basic training. It is a 14 week course. He was calling me a liar. Obviously he has no idea about the M1 Abrams training course. It is 14 weeks long and there it is in writing. Written by the US military. So no I'm not lying about my training period either. And here is my signature DD Form 214 November 88 is the, re the, uh, the actual form number Signature by Grady M. Adams, career counselor. That's the guy who uh, processed me out. And there is the DD-214, everybody, the real deal. I was in the military from 1994 to 1998, and I got a honorable discharge and multiple awards and citations. So, Doc is a liar. And I'm going to show some of his other lies because I don't want anybody else attacking and harassing me. I just want peace out here in the meadow and I just want to do my videos. I am really tired of being harassed and attacked and threatened and my property vandalized because people are believing this guy. So, no more. There's my DD-214. He'll, he'll tell you stuff and rant and rave about me and people believe him. But he's never shown a single fact to back up his stuff. He says he did a background check on me and found out I never served. He ranted and raved about it and people believed him. He said I was a liar and I never served. Okay? He stated it as fact. That he went and did a check through the military system and said I never served. Well, here it is. The DD-214. I did not want to show my personal information, but I have been forced to do so because I am sick of being harassed. All right, here is the do-it-yourself world forum, and this is going to show that Doc's other rants against me are absolute lies. He says that he, in his last video, which turned 2,000 of my viewers away from me in two days, they, people believe the tabloid junk without proving a thing. People don't just believe the ranting and raving of some guy. Check for facts okay he says in his words on his video which turned 2,000 people against me he said that I had a online talk show which is true then he said at the same time soon after he got the online talk show and then after he came on board I got kicked off the show and then I became angry with him that's not possible. His timeline is wrong because um, I mentioned the talk show on April 22nd, 2014. I wrote a post in my forum. This is the timeline in the forum, by the way. And I'll put the link here in, down below, which talks about the beginnings of the off-grid project. So you can read all this and find out the history of the off-grid project. Okay? I wrote everything here, including um, uh, what the guy was going to charge me and all kinds of stuff and why I left the apartment that I was in at the time. This is the origins of the off-grid project, everybody. So it says the off-grid project timeline and the trolls. So you can all read the first section. If you don't want the drama, don't read beyond. Because this talks about the origins of the attacks on me and who did what and why. Now, the funny thing is... One of Doc's timelines is he said that I started attacking him first. Well, never is he mentioned here in the first part of the origins of, of the Troll Wars. Okay. Now, Doc, he uh, said that 
I got kicked off the show after him, but the fact is, this is written on, a on Tuesday, April 22nd, 2014. He got the show, the talk show, after that period. So, and I had left the talk show long, 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 months before. And you can go back through my videos and see that I did a video saying that I have left the show, we parted on friendly terms, and I even asked everybody not to, not to harass him and not to uh, say anything bad to the guy, the, the guy who was running the talk show, because we were friends and we parted on friendly terms. All of you can go back and see that video. This guy, Doc, got his talk show six to eight months after I left on friendly terms. Now, his timeline in his video states that I got kicked off, kicked off after he joined. His timeline is off. I have the dates right here and the facts. He has no facts. He's just ranting and raving to steal my subscribers. And he successfully stole 2,000 subscribers with his last bunch of lies. Another timeline very important turning point. He said that he got a TV show and I did not and then I turned on him. And that was, according to his words, the beginning of when he says my attacks on him, he says the beginning of my attacks on him started when he got a TV show and I did not. And he says I was jealous and I started attacking him. Well, here's the funny thing. I will show you some comments that prove that his timeline is a lie. On December 31st, 2013, a year and a half, or no, uh, six to eight months, I think it was, six to eight months at least before, before he had his TV show. And you guys can all go back and prove the facts that he's lying and I'm telling the truth. All I've ever done is copied and showed his comments. That's it. His own words. Not mine. His own words. He shouts in all caps, shut, shut down your channel because it isn't going to stop until you apologize and are gone for good. Perhaps you should come back to the USA and face your criminal charges as well. The FBI is waiting for you. He goes on and says, when are you going to come back to the USA and face the charges brought against you for your crimes? Hmm, what crimes? Did you all know that Troy is being investigated for fraud and scamming and conning people? Please show us facts. Did you know he is being investigated for making false claims to the FBI and police? Really? Okay. Did you know he is being investigated for having part in the bomb threat and such with Tim Carey? Did you know that he is facing charges for making death threats to several, several people openly here on YouTube? Show us some proof. Openly here on YouTube. Please do show it. Troy is in a bleep load of trouble, and yet he fled to Australia to escape it with help from his cult church, religious persecution, but he has to come back eventually to face these charges or Australia will deport him if he doesn't. Just give it time and the truth will be seen. Well, Doc, yes, the truth will be seen because to this date, you've never shown any proof and here is the truth. He was attacking me in 2013 he claims that I started attacking him after the TV show in 2014. Please, people, stop listening to tabloid junk. Please, if you receive his three-page list of my supposed crimes and accusations against humanity, check it. Ask him for facts. Ask him for facts. He says, I have made death threats. Here, did you know he is facing charges for making death threats to several people openly here on YouTube? Well, if that's the case, please show it. But you can't. It doesn't exist. They're also saying that I am a child molester. Well, if I was on, in public like I am and I was a child molester, then you can all check my records. You will find that I have a perfect and clean spotless record. It costs you $20 to do so. Do a background check on me. Find out I have a clean and perfect record. And you can check the sex offender registry and find I'm not there. And... You can check my, there is no criminal history. If anybody had been facing all of these charges and all of these accusations, and this is just a paragraph out of a three-page list of my supposed crimes against humanity, then I would certainly not have a spotless clean record, which I do, okay? Please, people, stop listening to Doc's tabloid 
rants and raves against me, all he's doing is trying to steal my subs. And successfully, because people believe his lies and don't check facts. The timeline? He was attacking me six to eight months to a year even before he even claims that I got mad at him. By the way, you'll never find me attacking him. Never. Nowhere. All I've ever done is copied his comments. So please, if you're interested, go to the do-it-yourself world forum. I'll put the link here in the video description below. Check your facts, people. Please don't believe the lies and run a background check on me if you want. Okay? I have a clean record. You want to know who's lying? Check your facts, please. All right? He rants and raves for 23 minutes and even says I came to his house and cut his phone line, but yet the day before he made a video saying that everybody's phone line failed except for his. Funny that he says I came to his house and cut his phone lines. He said that. He said I drove to his house and cut his phone lines. He also says that I sent people to his home to kill him and harass him and to drive by him. He also claims that I ordered people to make videos. None of this is true. There's not a single fact to back up any one of his claims at all. His own comments contradict his own self because that very day before he was complaining about how his internet was failing and only his was working and all of the other neighbors were out and then the next day in the video he says I came and cut his line okay not his neighbors his line well it doesn't add up so please stop believing the tabloid junk and please do your background before believing this guy the facts are messed up and he is a liar. He is distorting facts and his timeline is off. Do your research. You will see who's telling the truth. Thanks for watching. I'm going to continue on with the work and there's going to be a double feature today. I've got some awesome exciting information coming up. So, uh, or video coming up. So uh, please do stick around. Like, subscribe and share. And please check your facts people. See who's lying. See who's telling the truth. I don't blow hot air. I show facts. And I show hardcore evidence with dates and times. He just rants and raves. Who's telling the truth? Thanks for watching.